What begins as a small green shoot slowly rises into tall, proud stalks, reaching up to 10 feet in height. Along these stalks, husked ears begin to form, each containing rows of golden kernels packed with natural sugars, fiber, and essential nutrients. Farmers carefully monitor the crop throughout the growing season, checking for signs of pests, nutrient deficiencies, or diseases. They may apply protective treatments or supplements to support healthy growth. Every step is timed with precision, because the window for optimal harvest is short, and timing is everything. When harvest season arrives, the fields become a hive of activity. In modern agriculture, harvesting sweet corn is a mechanized process. Specialized machines known as combine harvesters roll through the fields, cutting the stalks, stripping the ears, and collecting them in massive hoppers. Models like the John Deere S-Series, the Case IH Axial Flow, and the Kloss Lexian are among the most widely used for their speed and efficiency. These machines can harvest dozens of acres in a single day, work that would take hundreds of laborers weeks to complete by hand. This not only reduces labor costs, but ensures that the corn is collected at peak freshness, preserving its natural flavor and nutritional value. Once harvested, the corn is loaded onto trucks and transported to nearby processing facilities. Here, the real transformation begins. At the plant, the corn is unloaded and immediately sent to a receiving area, where it is sorted by size and quality. Any ears that show signs of damage, rot, or immaturity are discarded. Only the best ears, those that meet strict size, color, and ripeness standards, are allowed to proceed to the next stage. In the next phase, the corn undergoes mechanical dehusking. High-speed machines peel away the green husks and remove the silk strands that cling to the kernels. The ears are then passed through advanced kernel removal machines. These devices use rotating blades and precision guides to strip the kernels from the cob without crushing or damaging them. It's a process that takes mere seconds per ear, but when scaled to millions of ears per day, the efficiency is staggering. The separated kernels are then conveyed through a series of screening systems. Here, they are sorted by size and quality. Any shriveled, discolored, or broken kernels are removed. What remains is a batch of uniform, vibrant, golden kernels, ready for canning.
Next comes the preservation phase. Cans are lined up on high-speed conveyors and filled with corn kernels using automated filling machines. These machines are capable of filling hundreds of cans per minute. A brine or syrup solution is added to each can. Depending on the product type, this liquid helps to preserve the corn's texture, color, and flavor during storage. Once filled, the cans are sealed with precision lids and sent into large retort chambers, essentially industrial-sized pressure cookers. Here, the cans are subjected to high temperatures and pressures, a process known as thermal sterilization. This ensures that all harmful microorganisms are destroyed, extending the product's shelf life without the need for artificial preservatives. After sterilization, the cans are rapidly cooled and labeled, ready for distribution. From here, they travel by truck, ship, or rail to markets across the world arriving on grocery store shelves, in restaurant kitchens, or directly to consumers. Beyond canned corn, some of the harvest is reserved for seed production. These kernels undergo a different kind of sorting and screening, focusing on genetic traits, moisture content, and vitality. Only the strongest and most uniform kernels are selected as future planting seeds. These seeds are then packaged and shipped to farms, beginning the next cycle of growth. Sweet corn's value goes far beyond its taste. It supports entire supply chains, from seed scientists and farmers to truck drivers, factory workers, and grocery store clerks. It creates jobs, feeds populations, and plays a significant role in national food security. Nutritionally, sweet corn offers more than just sweetness. It's rich in dietary fiber, which supports digestion. It contains antioxidants like lutein and zeaxanthin, which promote eye health. And it provides essential B vitamins and minerals such as magnesium, iron, and zinc making it a versatile and valuable part of a balanced diet. In fact, corn is one of the few foods that's enjoyed in so many different forms, boiled, grilled, roasted, creamed, pureed, canned, or even popped. It's found in stews, salads, salsas, and casseroles. In many countries, it's a cultural staple and comfort food. As we conclude this journey, it's clear that sweet corn is far more than just a crop. It is a symbol of agricultural innovation, a driver of local and global economies and a cherished part of diets around the world. 
From seed to soil, from stock to can, every step in its journey is a testament to human ingenuity and nature's generosity. So the next time you open a can of corn or bite into a buttery cob at a summer cookout, remember the incredible journey it took to get there, spanning thousands of hands, machines, and miles. Sweet corn truly is one of nature's most remarkable gifts. If you found this journey from the fields to the factory as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button to support the channel. Want more in-depth looks at how the food we eat is grown, harvested, and processed? Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an episode.